Good morning, everyone. It's Maria. I'm back with another Christmas project to share with you. This is going to be a tutorial, and I will show you how to make this pocket tag. And this will go on your door. A few years ago, when my kids were still young, and of course we live overseas, they were worried that we didn't have a fireplace. And my son actually mentioned that he was worried that Santa will not be able to come because we don't have a chimney. So he was worried that Santa will not be able to come and bring presents. So I told him that I would leave the key to our front door under the mat so Santa can go in. So I wanted to create this project. I've seen a couple of Santa key projects on Pinterest and I've never seen one like this. So. I managed to make a bigger tag. If you have been following me for a while, I have a tutorial on how to make a pocket tag. And this is just a bigger version of it. And if you don't have a chimney, this is a cute project to make so your little ones will not be worried that Santa will not be able to come over to drop the presents. So this is a cute project to make with your kids, your grandkids niece and nephews and something magical to you know create happy memories and we're going to make this today and it reads I'm going to show you the dear Santa we don't have a chimney and I was worried as could be about how you'd bring the presents to my family and me but now I've solved the problem and I'm not sad anymore for hanging from this ribbon is the key to our front door. I just got this poem on, I can't remember now, but I had, I've had this poem for a while and I've always wanted to make this key. And of course, when I went back home to Michael's um, a few weeks ago, I found these keys that you can find at the dollar bin section of Michael's and I wanted to get the silver one so I have this white one to use on my future project but I have the silver one and of course this trim just goes well with it and all we have to do is put it there and this can be a really cute Christmas project to make with your kids and of course you don't have to use the same Santa again that I use over here I mean I you can find a lot of stickers and other embellishments at Michaels and Hobby Lobby right now so but I wanted to use my Santa just one another excuse to use my cute Santa over here so this is the project we're making today so if you're interested to see how this is made, then please keep watching. First thing that you will need, of course, is your cardstock. And this is 11 inches long by 4 and a half inches wide. Don't worry about the measurements right now because I will be writing down all the information on the information bar below. And then I've already used my envelope punch board just to notch the sides over here as you can see to create the tag if you don't have the punch board then you can just use your crop a dial or you can just use this, your scissors to cut the edges and make it decorative a little bit but I've already done that and then what I've done is once I've done this I just put it in the middle and then just punched and then flipped the paper and punched again if you have seen my flower tags, then um, you will notice that I use the same method on, on this particular tag right here. And then I put my paper against the punch board and measured it on like three, two inches, two and three quarter. I put the paper there and then I punched. I did the same way by flipping the paper and light it up. I lined it up on th two and three quarters and then punched. And that's how you get this little flap right here. And then all you have to do is fold it so you will have this pocket right here. So that's how you create the pocket tag. And then of course we will need our designer series paper that will cover 
our tag. This designer series paper is cut at 8 inches long by 4 inches wide. And I did the same thing by lining it up right in the middle of the punch board and punched to create this nice decorative edge. And then at the very bottom, I just used my scissors to just notch it a little bit because when you put it at the very bottom, it doesn't show. Okay, so now we have both. And then the other designer series paper is cut at four inches long by two and a half inches wide. And I did the same thing using the envelope punch board. So all we have to do first is we are going to adhere the designer series paper on our tag. So you will need your adhesive. I'm using the Stampin' Up! over here. You can use your ATG, you can use Tombow, any adhesive of your choice. So I'm gonna do that real quick. And press it down like so. And then instead of using sticky strip, to put on both sides. I mean, you can use sticky strip if you prefer, but I'm going to use my tiny attacher. This is the Tim Holtz one. Stampin' Up! is also selling this, but I already got my Tim Holtz, so I don't have the Stampin' Up! one. It's just going to secure the edges of it, and I'm just going to put it right about a quarter inch. And then we are going to attach See, it's going to be covered anyway, so no one's going to see that you staple it. But I'm just going to put my designer series paper and adhere it to the front of the pocket of the tag. And then just make sure it's perfectly aligned towards. So now you created that pocket and it's very secure, it's not going to go anywhere. Or you can use your sticky strip if you don't have the tiny attacher or stapler. If you prefer sticky strip, but I prefer the tiny attacher. Now, we need to get your 1 and 3 8 circle punch. That's what I'm using for all of my wine tags, door tags, because this is going to go on my doorknob. But if, if your doorknob is the rounded, mine is, it, mine is like, I'll show you later on the video, but it's long and you can insert this on the doorknob. But mostly in the US, your doorknobs would have like this big thing. So I'll show you a, an option on how to do that. But you would still need your 1 and 3 8 punch. So all you have to do is flip your paper like so and make sure just eyeball it make sure that it's right in the middle of your tag even on both sides and then just punch and now you created this so if you have a doorknob you that's rounded you will need a bigger circle punch and then just cut right in the middle of the circle so you can you can kind of insert it on your doorknob. I have already cut my Santa. I showed this on my video yesterday. So I'm just going to use dimensionals. You can use any other decor that you have. Um, in fact, I actually got this from Michael's when I was home a few weeks ago and it came in a pack of this is the celebrated or Creatology, I think, and it came in a pack of with reindeer and some other stuff in the pack, but I thought about using this, but then this Santa is just so adorable, so I'm going to use this instead to decorate my tag. Isn't that cute? And then, of course, don't forget the poem. So now that we have got our pocket tag right here, then all you have to do is get your poem. I just printed this off of my computer and I use parchment paper 
and I sponged the edges just to make it look so old or older and it's a really cute poem and I will type that in the information bar below and all you have to do is put this right in the front you can put it straight or you can angle it a little bit and then put your magical key inside and there you go that's our Christmas project today isn't that cute I'm sure the kids would love this and if you create one please don't forget to send me a link to your channel and I would certainly love to see your video subscribe to your channel and support you as well I wanted to share this with you guys I made this yesterday and I posted the video for it but I've made a couple of these resin pieces I altered more paper clips using these resin pieces that I got from the Dollar Tree and I used the same eyelash I'm, I'm totally in love with that it just makes everything look so festive and this came with in a pack of four and I got it from the Dollar Tree as you can see they're so cute and this is my favorite I think the reindeer and the Santa Christmas trees stocking moose maybe Rudolph I'm not sure and poinsettia isn't that cute I just thought I'd share that because if you don't have this dye then you can create some cute ones like this to add to your gift bag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful and like this if you can give it a thumbs up I would definitely appreciate it very much and I will see you on my next Christmas project. Bye for now. Happy crafting!